he went away and you hung around and bothered me every night and when I wouldn't go out of you you said things that weren't very nice my boyfriend's back and you're gonna be in trouble Calvin Coolidge Jr. High Girls Glee Club to the dizzying heights of superstardom and back home in time for the prom, to which I was escorted by my cousin Ernie, who was 40 pounds overweight and had hair in his ears. <laughs> Ugh, makes you think, doesn't it? And carrying out that theme, here I am 25 years later in the mind-numbing splendor we call Norristown, Pennsylvania, begging for attention from a restaurant full of league bowlers. <laughs> yeah. And you know, I guess the one question I'm asked most often is, Vicky, 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 as you look back on this zany, madcap roller coaster of a life you've led, is there anything you change, anything you do differently? To which I invariably reply, Earth. Regrets, I've had a few, but then again, too few to mention. I did what I had to do. Tux jacket? Yeah, it looks real practical. 
You can either wear it or read by it. I knew I should have put a clause in his contract about no fluorescent clothing. I did mention to you that I signed Earl for another five-year contract, didn't I? Eat your heart out. I'm writhing with envy, Nick. I got a whole drawer full of them in my office. You want to sign one? Just stop by any time and beg. Let's plan on it. 10 a.m. the morning they discover life on Pluto. <laughs> Who's Mr. Charm over there? I don't know. Donald somebody. Just moved here from Cincinnati to manage that new world of plumbing franchise at the mall. 212 average. Italian leather bowling shoes. Carries his own monogram rosin bag. Stop, stop. My head is spinning. <laughs> I'll see you later. With my luck. Mm. Excuse me. Vicky Vibe. If that's who you're looking for. If not, I'll be happy to change it. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> I lost my head. Just been so long since I've been hit on by a man who doesn't have his name embroidered across his pocket. Well, to be honest, I'm, I'm not hitting on you. I just want to talk. I see. I'm Harry Simon, Vicky. You know, this is amazing. I can't believe I'm actually standing here talking to you. Imagine how I feel. Well, I've been trying to track you down for the past two months. Yeah? I don't suppose you'd have the address or phone number of the other two Buffons, would you? Well, I haven't heard from Chris since her annual wishes for a joyous holiday season, but she's not exactly what you'd call transient. What about Deborah? You know where she is? Probably sunning herself on some large rock. I think this is right about the time she usually sheds her skin. So sorry. Let me put that more tactfully. If that's who you came here to talk about, I'm afraid you've wasted your time. But what if it's important? Nothing's that important, Harry. Deborah, love her. Always have, always will. You? Me? My place? I'll get Chris's address. The Bills' 25th home run. This year, San Diego is next with 22, and Atlanta is third with 21. Dad, they're showing the booth right now. But it's all glass. We can't see you. Dad, you know what? Uh, Tell Daddy where you're having dinner. Oh, yeah. We're having dinner at William's house. I don't know. William who? William Bish, honey, from Taylor's Cub Scout Troop. Yeah, they, they moved into the house on the corner last weekend. Right, the vomit-colored one. <laughs> oh, well, I met Nancy. I haven't met him yet. So, everything, everything okay? Um, Bobby, I thought you were gonna call me last night. Oh, no, 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 I, I know how busy you are. I just, I just wondered, so. Um, listen, I really do have to go. Um, I'll see you tomorrow, okay? I love you. Tell Daddy bye-bye. Bye, Daddy. Bye, Daddy. Oh, honestly, Taylor, give me a break. Who can get into their jackets the fastest? Go. Ha ha. I won. It's not fair. You cheated. I did not. You did too. I did not. There's no fighting in this house. We don't fight with people we love, right? Right? Right. All right, fine, and knock it off. We're both getting to be so big. Would you mind not getting so big so fast, please? Okay. Thank you. Oh, ready? Come on. Enough popcorn, Taylor. Really? Hi, I'm Chris Henry. It's nice to finally meet you. Well, just uh, give me a call when they're through eating, and I'll, I'll come and get them. Oh. One of the bonuses of moving into my neighborhood. You get a coffee cake whether you want one or not. Oh, there's the phone. Okay, see you guys later. Thanks again. My mom says your house looks like vomit. Hello. Hi, Nancy. Ah, uh, they're on their way. What do you mean he's just now leaving? Oh, my
Ooh. Next shot is Deborah at the lead mic. Uh oh. Is this where she took it over from Vicky? Is that why Vicky bristled when I mentioned Deborah's name? I'm sure she didn't mean anything by it. Uh, that's just her. Some people collect stamps. Vicky bristled. Harry, there is no great mystery here. A lot of girl groups broke up around that time, especially when the Beatles hit. Not voluntarily, they didn't. Not with a song that was still in the top ten when they quit. So tell me what happened. Was it a mutual decision, or did the... Uh... Look, Chris, I'm sorry. I don't mean to cross-examine you. I'm just trying to get to the bottom line here and find out what I'm up against. That's all. The bottom line is, we were three friends who spent an amazing, unforgettable few years together. And we loved each other. Even though you haven't seen or spoken to each other ever since. I didn't say we did it right, Harry. More coffee? No. No, thanks. I, you know, as much as I hate to do this, I really should be getting back to the hotel. I have a lot of phone calls to make. Are you going to talk to Bobby? Yes, ma'am. You'll get back to me? Huh? Think it's going to be okay with him? I think he and the boys will probably be thrilled. We'll be on the phone ordering pizza before my plane takes <laughs> off. How long are you going to be in Philadelphia? Until I get a yes out of you. And, by the way, I don't want to add any pressure or anything, but just, uh, just remember that my entire television career is riding on my promise to deliver the buffons. Thanks a lot, Chris. Had a great time. Thank you, Harry. last night? Just when you thought there were no firsts left in the dating world? Have you ever had a man compliment you on your toe cleavage? Who's Harry Simon? I am, Deborah. I apologize for stopping in like this, but if you could spare just ten minutes. Um, okay, sure, Harry. Come on in. By the way, the staff meeting's been moved to two. Will you call Joseph and see if noon's okay for lunch? You got it. Oh. Harry, what can I do for you? Do you know that you're blushing? I'm sorry. Um, I hope this won't embarrass you. But how do you like knowing that you were my first sexual experience? Well, it's okay. You wouldn't remember. You weren't there. <laughs> I'll tell you what, though. When Teen Chart announced that you were going out with that drummer, I had this overwhelming desire to track the guy down and beat the hell out of him. Michael Page? Well, according to what I read, you two had found true cosmic grooviness. But the next thing I heard was that you'd broken up. I was thrilled. You were too good for that guy, Deborah. I knew it right from the beginning. So, is there more? Or did you just wake up this morning with an overwhelming compulsion to track me down and share that? No, no, no. There's more. Believe me. I've come to talk about the Buffons. So, aren't you going to tell me what a Hollywood hotshot was doing in your office? What, do you keep my secretary on retainer? I don't have to. She likes me. She tells me everything. She also happened to toss in his social security number? in scene measurements? I'm not getting to that, but I was late for meeting. All right, I'm impressed. What was he doing in your office? He's got a network deal for a big 60s retrospective. And? And he wants to call it... My boyfriend's back. You're kidding. And what? He needs the Buffon's permission. He needs the Buffon's. Uh, and what did you tell him? Exactly what you think I told him. I told him no. I know. For the subject, I'll stay out. Thank you. How would you like a wonderful fantasy to preoccupy yourself with this afternoon? What do you have in mind, Sailor? Well, Ted and Junior just bought a house in Connecticut, and they've offered us first crack at their apartment. Us? Why us? Deborah, think. It's spectacular. 
size of your place and mine put together. I've been there. I know you don't just sell me on the apartment. So what do I have to say? Me? Okay. I'm clean. Great in bed. And after one cup of coffee, I'm a darling for the whole day. Yes, you are. And I love you. And I love what we have. And I love what we are. So do I. And you're willing to risk that just because Ted and Julia decided to move to Connecticut? I guess I just don't see it as a risk. I guess I see it as just wanting more. Why fix something that's not broken? I've got such a great setup, 11 short blocks from each other. Just close enough, just far enough away. Just as well. Deborah said no. Now you won't have to juggle your schedule. I can always manage to change my schedule if it's important enough. <laughs> what? 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 Hmm? What, your birthday? <gasps> there was nothing I could do. I know that. Oh, you know, I should have been born during the off season. Bobby, you spend 80% of your time on the road. And your best friends are a bunch of guys I don't even know. I'm a sportscaster. That's what I do. Hon, I know you don't want me to get a straight job for half the money and be miserable. Of course not. I'm sorry. I'm OK. Um, we're both just tired. Let's, uh, let's get some sleep. OK. I'm sorry, but in Cincinnati, we have computerized scorekeeping, and I will not rest until I have it here. I may not win any personality contests, but hey, when I believe in something, that's all that counts, because that's just the kind of guy I am. You maverick, you. Well, good night, Donald. Good Hello, Chris? You'll never guess who this is. Of course I know who it is. You, Bixby. That's uncanny. I'm finished. Anything? No? Nope. What? Nothing. saw you bring that thing in here. Why, Deborah, what a warm, deeply moving greeting. After all these years, I'll always treasure it. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm, I'm overwhelmed. Uh. <laughs> really, you can't imagine how overwhelmed. It's just that... Could you excuse me for just one moment, please? Penny? Would you mind not telling anyone about this? No problem. <laughs> Wire was a bouffant. I don't believe it. Oh, but you can, my son. Yes, here she is. Yes. Here she is. At the peak of her new bile stardom, your very own, very glamorous senior vice president of marketing. <laughs> but was that necessary? Define necessary. Let's get out of here, please. Deborah, I think I speak for all of us when I say, hey, La, 
Okay, lock. <laughs> Word. The last thing we wanted to do was embarrass you. It just never occurred to us that you hadn't told those people. Really, we're just sick about it. <laughs> so what's new? <laughs> he storms over to the stairs, turns around, puts his little hands on his little hips and looks us right in the eye and says, Okay, fine. Then I'm going upstairs, and I am going to waste toothpaste. Oh, he is so cute. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, yeah. They do say the darndest things, don't they? So you decided to stop with two? I just think you remember you had your heart set on 12. That's right. I was going to have 10 for me and two for you. What? Don't you remember? I didn't want any part of it once I found out what you had to do to get them. Go through childbirth? Have sex. Uh -oh. <laughs> You know, I really do hope that you've rethought your position. On what? Sex? I guess you could say that. <laughs> no, on having children. Oh, no, sorry, I still don't want any. Well, I think I do. Really? That's great. Excuse me. We have your table ready for you now, oh. please. So I take it there's a serious relationship in your life. What's that supposed to mean? Which word are you having trouble with, exactly? She's just asking if you're seeing someone special. Vicky, it's a perfectly innocent question. All right. Yes. I'm seeing someone special. Well, I am delighted for you. Does he have a name? No, Deborah, he doesn't. It's one of those freak oversights. His name is Donald. Well, tell us about him. Where'd you meet him? came to hear me sing one night. Oh, my God, you're still singing? Where, in a bar? It's not a bar. It's kind of a supper club. Packed every night, if I do say so myself. Well, what can I say? I'm only a high school graduate. I'm not qualified to sit behind a desk all day and push $20 mascara. $20 for mascara? It has four separate conditioners in it. Well, so how about this? Together again, corporate executive, the housewife, and the headliner, Miss Vicki Vine of the Buffons. Which leads me neatly, I feel, to the reason we're here. Deborah, does the name.